And when I got to law school, I thought a couple of class action lawsuits would take care of everything. And then, uh, you know, as I worked with farm workers, and, and of course, at, working with farm workers, you're at the very bottom of the economic uh, uh, scale, you know, and those folks are exploited every which way. And so I think it, it uh, made me more realistic. But it also brought me to the point that uh, understanding how important incremental change is, that uh, we've got to make the change as we go along. It may not seem big to us when we're doing it, um, but in the long run it is big. And if you think of the Civil Rights Movement, you think of the 100 years after the Civil War, when those folks, the African American community was organizing all of the beatings and the lynchings and everything they went through in a, that 100 years, but they kept pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. And that's where Martin Luther King comes from. He doesn't come out of the, he doesn't descend from heaven and all the sons among us. It's because of all of those incremental changes, those day-to-day -day things that go on uh, that makes it possible for Rosa Parks to say, uh, I'm gonna sit here. So I think I really got a better understanding of that. And that's why I think it's really important for people to understand that everything they do every moment of their lives in terms of the community is really, really important. You know, I always tell the story about uh, Cesar Chavez and uh, Fred Ross. Fred Ross was the organizer that organized Cesar. And Cesar, after he got out of the Navy, every, every uh, Saturday he would uh, get with his friends, tinker with the cars, drink beer. And every Saturday Fred Ross would come by and he would say to Cesar, Cesar, you can do something better. And then one Saturday, uh, Cesar said, like, what? And of course, the rest is history. But that's the importance, I think, of just being dedicated to that day-to-day -day change. You know, if Fred Ross hadn't done that, we'd be in a whole different story about Cesar Chavez. There wouldn't be a Cesar Chavez story.